The National Institute of Design, NID, is one of the foremost multidisciplinary institutions in the field of design education, applied research, training, design consultancy services, and outreach programs. It functions under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India. NID has been declared an institution of national importance through an Act of Parliament by virtue of the National Institute of Design Act 2014. It has three campuses at Ahmedabad, Gandhinagar and Bangaluru, covering 20 different disciplines. The Department of Outreach Programs works with crafts and other socially relevant sectors. It empowers people from various sectors for their social and economic growth. See, when an ID was set up in 1961, based on the report of Charles Henry Eames, famous American designers, who had written India report and in that report it was mentioned that the new education program which will start at NID should have a very strong understanding of tradition and culture of this country which is so rich. And in our curriculum, students and faculty are encouraged to go in the field and work with the craftspeople and see that with their design intervention how they can improve the products which in turn become more contextual in today's time and by which they improve their quality of life for by creating a better designs. It is a key department and functions in a professional manner. The core objective of the outreach programs at NID is essentially to reach out to traditional uh, craft sector and the social sector and the whole idea is to use design as a powerful tool uh, for uh, the economic empowerment of these communities. Craft research and documentation are key areas where a lot of work has been undertaken by the department. A complete and exhaustive study has been done in the beautiful states of Northeast India. Since the Northeast has never been documented before, it will become a great resource for different kinds of people like designers, researchers, textile historians. And it becomes a wonderful base for other people to take forward. And because of this documentation, a lot of traditions that may have got lost, at least will have been recorded. The Northeast, the project to document textiles of Northeast is a project of outreach programs. The client uh, is IGNCA, Indira Gandhi Na National Center for Arts. And uh, the project began in 2011. As a part of the project, some of the textile faculty of NID were engaged as uh, by giving the responsibility of heading certain states. Uh, I happened to uh, be made in charge of the state of Arunachal Pr uh, Pradesh. Uh, the whole process of documenting, sending different teams to the field, getting back information, getting them to put a rich document together, and then trying to compile a whole sort of book on the state has taken us about uh, five to six years. At the end of it, I would say that it has been a very rich, engaging and learning process for all of us. The approaches followed were a combination of our own field study model along with ethnographic and anthropological studies. But the focus was on uh, the relationship between nature, people and culture. Uh, how material diversifies itself into many phenomena and bringing all these knowledge 
together in various uh, forms of studies and bringing it to a compilation and corroborating it with uh, published material. Through design innovation, NID has not only served India, but also worked in international areas. The Africa Basketry Design Intervention Project that NID undertook in 2012, uh, I would say it has been one of the landmark craft design projects for NID in the sense that with this project, it was for the very first time that NID was going to another continent out of the country to provide craft design inputs to rural basket, you know, uh, uh, weavers, women basket weavers in different African countries. A number of projects for artisans of rural Africa have been undertaken and support is provided for their skill development. The one workshop was done in Ahmedabad, uh, NID. And after we did this workshop, uh, a team of uh, NID designers and a uh, couple of our staff members also are very good, who have very good skills, traveled with us to Ghana, Accra, and with the association of aid to artisans uh, and another uh, South African basket organization, we collaborated together and conducted a workshop in uh, Accra itself in the Aid to Artisans office. For Bhutan, a beautiful hilly country, a series of workshops were undertaken in the area of cane and bamboo products development. A skills workshop on apparel designing and tailoring was also undertaken under expert guidance. The purpose of this workshop was to empower the local participants from Bhutan to be able to handle and develop ability in the area of garment making and uh, construction uh, to a much more broader and global level. We tried to help them through developing a quality parameter for themselves and be able to handle existing technologies and also to be able to handle the local resources and uh, opportunities which can help them to capture the tourist market they already have and to also develop uh, an identity through the Bhutanese government. For minority welfare, NID along with the government of India is working in different parts of the country for skills upgradation of crafts and social empowerment. Ustad, uh, the full form for which stands for upgrading skills and training in uh, traditional arts and crafts for development. Uh, it's an important project launched by the Honorable Prime Minister and essentially the project focuses on, you know, uh, the artisanal communities belonging to uh, minority groups of um, uh, Muslims, uh, Buddhists, Jains, Parsis, uh, Sikhs and um, Christians. Essentially, we are going to be working across 25 craft clusters in about a four to five year period. The nature of design development that is required for the kind of products that the uh, groups are working on is what is going to be developed by NIDs. The uniqueness of the craft is very finely carved, embryo carved, what you call it as an undercut inside the uh, inside the, any of the product what they are making right now. It is not that the skill required to weave is a very high level of skill. It can be taught to almost anybody and everybody. This particular tribal community, it's actually not uh, that one particular family of potters have inherited it from their, uh, you know, senior generation. There are two uh, groups uh, because in paper mache you have uh, the paperwork. Uh, so there's a group of craftsmen called the Saktasas who mold and make the different forms. Uh, and then there's another group that does the beautiful painting on the surface. 
There's a um, direct competition between several countries, the work from several countries with what is produced from India. But the uniqueness about uh, the work that they produce is uh, the kind of material and the way they uh, work with it. The beautiful colors and the forms that they indigenously pick from the, uh, their immediate environment. In the state of Gujarat, a series of workshops were undertaken in Drangadra and Ambaji in the area of stone products. So NID team uh, visited the field and did the need assessment survey and come up with the strategy. One is the skill development program and second is a design development program. So in skill development program, we improve the existing skill of the student artisan. In design development program, we improve their dream ideas for the contemporary market. A design intervention for block printing was undertaken in Jaipur, Rajasthan. So through this project, skill upgradation, skill building and new product development happened. But apart from these three, uh, the artisans were also much more aware about the block printing craft and also uh, more sensitized towards design at large. Uh, they got opportunity to work closely with professional designers, master craft persons, tailors and also master craft persons from Patwa jewelry making. And this uh, added to their confidence. And of course, their skill level were also enhanced. So with this, they were able to get uh, you know, consistent workflow. Bidri Ware is a craft of Southern India. A workshop was undertaken to develop new products and enhance the skills of craftsperson. The purpose of this workshop was a design development uh, uh, of Bidri Ware in Bidar region in the city of Bidar. It was sponsored by Exim Bank and uh, we, I was the project head. The purpose was to develop uh, uh, products which are more uh, contemporary in nature in the present market and also for corporate sector. Uh, since they make traditional pro products, essentially it is a craft which has um, a silver inlay on zinc metal forms. So they make traditional items. Now, the purpose was to bring in diversification in the product for better sustenance of the artisans. NID has also helped several organizations working in the area of crafts development to create their logos. Actually, the Kadi mark was conceived by the Kadi Commission so that they wanted to ensure a quality from across the, the organization in terms of the products. Basically, Kadi being hand woven and hand spun. So, Kadi mark was ensuring a quality to the customers. That was the whole idea of being, uh, developing this Kadi mark. So, the whole idea of developing the Kadi mark is that the people from the weaver, the lowest of the segment, that is the weaving, Weavers should also try to recognize this symbol and also assure a quality. And that's how the mark was conceived. Outreach has not only been involved in design intervention, but also in helping other state governments to set up institutes of craft development. This uh, started in 2006 when the government of Jharkhand actually commissioned the outreach department at NID to set up a craft resource come research development center at Ranchi. So as part of this, a faculty team from here visited various districts of Ranchi, we went to various craft clusters, we met various officials and based on the entire study, a uh, feasibility report was submitted to them. This report was actually presented to the then Chief Minister, Mr. Arjun Munda and uh, they actually liked it a lot and they broadened the scope of the project and, said, and they said, you know, we realize the importance of design in the craft sector and now we want to set up a design come craft center institute at Ranchi and they came back to us in 2011 after the construction of the building was completed. A number of NID students have completed their graduation projects in outreach programs. Outreach has always helped us, uh, whether it be our uh, stay or travel, so we actually didn't have to worry about that much. The outreach programs is a perfect example and a perfect place for a student to carry out their graduation project. Working at NID was a 
privilege and uh, the advantage was that NID has so many faculties and you can seek help from anyone at any point of time. The Centre for Bamboo Initiatives has conducted an important Train the Trainer workshop in Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat and Tripura for bamboo artisans. The purpose of this workshop was to give a training uh, in the areas of uh, jewellery, basketry, furniture and accessory products to the uh, artisan from Tripura like using bamboo. So all these artisans were selected were from the different part of Tripura and they were uh, brought to one place and given this training. The International Centre for Indian Crafts at NID is also playing an important role. The role of uh, ICIC in NID is to understand the strength and weakness of any craft sector and use our interdisciplinary strength of NID and how to help this craft to grow more into the global market and also in the Indian market. Artisans have also praised NID efforts. What we have made in our hometown, but when I step in here, there is a conflict between my thought and the style, the way how we made here. It really upgrades from my capacity. Since we didn't have such ideas and we didn't use it, we made just simple balls which we use for cooking. But when I came here, really, there's no word to express my feeling. There is a great advantage. And I really thank you, the NID, because you have really upgrades the way how we made and the set. The work done by the Institute is invariably valued and well appreciated. NID has done a very meticulous job in, in picking up all those things, finest of the details related to the Northeast uh, living traditions. That was very important because, because when, we call, when we say textiles, uh, people just think that it is, it is just a piece of cloth, but no. There are some intangible cultural heritage which go along with that textile, with that piece of cloth. And I am very happy that uh, NID has done that with full sensitivity and picking up all those threads. The NID designers worked very closely with the weavers up there. They deconstructed the baskets they made. They looked very carefully at the, at, at, at the technique they used and at the, the, gr the grass product they were using and they came up with this product. This product in 2017 continues to sell globally. It's become a world bestseller. Especially with regard to the artisan's way of doing uh, the articles, the products, because they have been trained uh, many years back and still now, till now they are carrying the same same way of doing and their attitude also is that that is the best and uh, having this uh, program introduced by NID here with a new style of weaving and new patterns uh, they have been able to break through it in fact it was very difficult for them in the beginning but once they got the clutch of it it was very fast because they could see that uh, they can produce much more designs than what NID even has taught them because of the measurements and uh, the way NID has taught them uh, mathematical measurements and all and they really they are very happy that they could explore much more what is lying in them. India is culturally very diverse nation. Different traditions, different cultures and also different times which exist and our students are encouraged to work and co-create with the craftspeople and take up the project which are socially relevant. First is that they understand the context in which they have to design something new and that context understanding is 
connecting education with the field and creating a new knowledge and improving the quality of life of the people. Thus, NID's outreach programs play a major role in the social and economic development of the country.